Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, a very quick technical vlog. Um, I was reminded the other day because someone asked a question on YouTube about um, the security locks that I've put on to Merlin. And it sort of reminded me that I hadn't actually done a vlog of that. So uh, this vlog is about that. And it's going to be in two parts. It's going to be, um, I'm indoors at the moment, as you can probably see. Um, it's a bit blowy outside, a bit cold. So I'm not going to do the outside bit, showing you the locks, etc. until tomorrow. So the first thing to uh, establish is what, what are these locks? These locks are a set of four locks fitted to our camper van. Should the van be stolen, any thief would have to do a lot of damage before they could sell it, therefore making it less desirable to steal. It's an extra deterrent. It's hardly practical to get in and out of one of the windows every time you want to drive your camper van around. They're, they're an additional security device that will basically uh, help prevent somebody breaking into the vehicle. It won't prevent them breaking into the windows and getting in through there, but it will make it much more awkward if, for a thief if they can't open any of the, the main doors. Um, and I'm rather hopeful that they would go and steal somebody else's van instead of mine. Well, if I explain how they work, um, it might make more sense. So what these locks do, um, they, they're called hook locks. And with, you turn the key and it sends a hook across into the, the door jam, And it's a, a physical barrier for, for opening the door. You, even if you crowbar the door open, you'd still find difficulty because the hook lock it would still be on. You'd have to do a lot of crowbarring to, um, uh, to, to, uh, to bend that. And of, course, of course, you might say, well, that means a thief would do more damage. Yeah possibly, um, but I'm hoping that what happens is that the thieves decide to go toddle off and go and steal somebody else's van instead of mine. That's the idea. Um, the company I used to, to get them fitted did, a, did an excellent job. It was all done by email and uh, they arranged to come to my house to actually fit it. And uh, they did it all in about three to four hours, I think it was. Uh, they did a very good job and um, you'll see they even gave me a kit for maintenance so you can lubricate uh, your locks to keep them in good order. I think you get um, three sets of keys. You have to record the number because if ever you lose one you have to get another key from them but they give you three with it. Um, in practice what I find I, I'm doing Uh, we'll leave the van, shut the van up, lock it with the remote control, and then I'll just go around and I'll turn each door key um, to, to lock the additional security. And when I come back to the van, obviously I undo that because we don't want to be locked inside it or inside the van with one of the exits um, unable to be used. <clears throat> For example, the, the, the remote control blipper does not have any effect on these locks at all. So I hope I've explained that right. Um, they're very solid, very clunky. Uh, it's very mechanical. Um, nothing very clever about it. It's uh, a good solid, uh, solid lock. And you'll see when, when I show you how they work that uh, there's a good solid feel to, to, to how the, um, the key turns and, and the hook lock engages. Right, I decided to do it today. It's the same day as I did the other bit. Uh, as the weather conditions have improved a bit. So, let's have a look. So this is what it looks like. That's the hook lock. I'm going to put the key in now. As you can see, it's quite a robust. That's quite robust. You're not going to bend that very easily. It's one, two, three, four four, five, six bits of uh, steel. The key is like a, a big Yale type lock. And all that happens, I'll uh, 
just open the door a bit more so I can show you. That um, hook lock goes into here. So it hooks in there. Um, so it's, it's pretty robust. It's probably just as uh, secure as the original locks. When they did the installation, they um, behind these bits there is um, sealer. So I think they did a pretty good job. Um, this one on the driver's door, exactly the same. There's no point in me showing you any anything else. It's just the same. They all work the same. One of the things you do have to be a bit careful of is um, if I come back to the van and I use the, um, the blipper to unlock the, uh, the main vehicle, um, if I don't remember to go around and unlock all of the extra secure doors, when you're in the, inside the van, you can't open the door uh, because the hook lock's still in place. So that could potentially be um, uh, a secure, uh, not a secure, a safety risk really, because if you had a fire or something and you, the particular door you wanted to get out of, the, the one in the back or, 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 or the two cab doors, uh, you wouldn't be able to get out. It's not really a problem f for me because I've got a routine now when I come back to the van after um, you know, being out somewhere, um, the first thing I do is uh, open the main doors and uh, unlock them, let Ellie in, and then I go around and I unlock the rest of them because um, I wouldn't want them to be locked while we're inside. Have I made that clear? Yeah, because some people seem to think that they were an extra security for when you're in it at night. They're not. You wouldn't want to be locked in your van through any door. So as long as you remember that, um, I think they're very, very good. Not cheap, nearly £600, but that was for fitting and uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with them. It's very, very quick to just walk around and, uh, and lock them all. The, um, the back door, by the way, excuse the state of Merlin, um, just come down from the Isle of Skye, you know. Um, the back door is on there, so you don't have one on each door. But that one locks onto that one. So uh, that's slightly different. Now the company that I used, um, and as I say, I would recommend them, they were very good. It was a company called avrmobiles.co.uk. This is their website. As you can see, you fill in these forms to get a quote. Uh, but these are all the other products that they do. And uh, you can see here that um, they've got the uh, hook locks and the deadlocks. And as you can see along the bottom here, there's also uh, customer surveys, which are generally very good. And as I say, they came to site. Um, they give you different prices. The hook locks are slightly more expensive than the standard straight locks, which aren't quite as secure, but still pretty good, I would imagine. Um, so they they fitted... Um, hook locks to the two cab doors, the rear door, and the side door. So that's four locks in total. And um, they charged me to come out to site. It was £589, including VAT. Um, as I think I said before, they, they did a very, very good job. And they also gave me a um, maintenance kit, which I'll show you as well. And they do also give you this uh, little maintenance kit, which I found quite useful, which is basically um, high performance PTFE lubricant. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit dark in here. Um, some instructions and a little cloth. It's basically to, um, that just fits into the nozzle of the lock and you just spray the lubricant inside and that mops up any anything. And some instructions how to do it. So yeah, they were fairly comprehensive. I was very, very pleased. I'll show you how this works. 
and this maintenance they recommend you do every um, every month or so so just a little squirt in there get rid of the excess and then put the key in and out it's all quite obvious stuff really yeah so that's the uh, the maintenance i hope you found that interesting and um you've got to decide yourself whether you think it's worthwhile doing um there's quite a few bits of security that we we adopt i've got the anti-seat swivel device that I've done a vlog about previously. Um, we've got a, a steering wheel lock. Um, we've got uh, a wheel clamp. Well, I don't tend to use the wheel clamp very much, but the, the, this security lock I do use almost every time we walk away from the van, unless it's maybe on a site or something. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And uh, any questions, just pop them on the uh, uh, underneath the video make a comment and ask your question we'll catch you soon bye